We were at the airport awaiting our flight to Seoul, South Korea. Our flight got delayed by 10 hours. Finally, we are boarding our plane. After another 14 hours, we finally arrive at Incheon Airport. The airport was huge and super clean. There was a nice seating area for us to rest and plan our next move. My girlfriend's younger brother met up with us at the airport. We shared our first meal in South Korea. The Korean food at the airport was surprisingly high quality and very affordable. A meal for three people was 22 US dollars. I have the pleasure of experiencing Seoul's high quality public transportation system. The trains are super clean and there is free Wi-Fi for everyone. We traverse the underground train station and make our way back to the surface. This is my first view of the city in over 30 years and I am trying to soak it all in. We pass by a 24 hour cafe and this huge car parking machine. After some much needed rest, we enjoy an amazing Thai massage inside this building and check out a PC bong to eat some delicious junk food. We then explore a 24 hour mini mart. So many snacks for us to choose. We get a haircut at the hair salon and continue to explore the city. The interiors of the cafes here are so well put together. There's a man playing a piano in the middle of the street really helps set up that ambiance. We explore more of the city before our flight to Japan. Incheon Airport is one of the most beautiful and cleanest airports in the world. So many digital screens, bright lights, and colors. We were originally going to spend a couple days in Japan. Unfortunately, I needed a PCR test and was not able to board the plane. Perhaps next time. We ate some quick and cheap burgers at Lateria, explored the airport a bit more while we figured out our next move. We needed to book a place to sleep for tonight. We stayed a couple days at the Ever 8 Hotel. Reasonable prices, nice interior, it felt like we were staying at an apartment. I would say it was the best hotel we stayed at during our time in Seoul. We slept so well and were well rested. A new day for new adventure. We decided to take a bus to the Gyeongbokgung Castle. However, the castle was closed on that day, so we got some pictures in front of it instead. It was a cold day and we needed to think fast to find things to do. We decided to make our way to the famous Gyeongbokgung shopping district. We explored the wide streets and the tight alleyways. We found a really cool multi-floored outlet shopping mall area and discovered this really awesome lamp store. The owner handcrafts all these beautiful flower lamps with Korean style paper mache. Future apartment, Kyungi. Uh, uh, so, be so beautiful. Thank you. After spending a couple hours at the Insedong district of Seoul, we make our way to the Seoul Business District. We were right near LCK Park, and since we're big League of Legends fans, we decided to see what's up. There was a huge PC cafe nearby. There was also a cool gift store filled with League of Legends merchandise. Wow, these are pretty nice too. Oh, they got Jin, Caitlyn, um, Misfortune, Ash, Vayne. Oh, wow. My girlfriend is good at Yumi, so I thought it'd be humorous to get a picture of her next to a Yumi statue. Today, I made plans to meet up with my friend that I met on Twitch. Ju Young, his assistant, and I shared a nice meal at a Korean barbecue restaurant. So many delicious Korean side dishes, and the grilled pork was excellent. We finished our entire meal and made our way to a local cafe for drinks. Ju Young was a super nice guy, and it was cool to meet up with a friend that I made from the internet. He started his own company that is looking to mass produce music synthesizing machines and also sells custom luxury keyboards for personal computers. An incredible source of inspiration, great mentor and friend. We said our goodbyes and I made my way back to the hotel. Today we would be leaving Seoul and heading to southern Korea to my girlfriend's hometown of Hampyeong. We ate a quick breakfast at a local buffet and explored the area before our departure. We picked up some delicious smoothies from a local cafe to quench our thirst. 
Even the train stations here are really nice. It was like being at an 8th floor mall. Getting to Hampyeong from Seoul took about 2 hours. It was a nice relaxing train ride and there was also free Wi-Fi as well. We finally arrived in Hampyeong where my girlfriend's father picked us up. Hampyeong is a small city located in the countryside of South Korea. First thing we did was drive to the local dental clinic to get our teeth cleaned. Dental treatment in South Korea is super affordable. Afterwards, we drove to the local grocery store to pick up more food for dinner. My girlfriend's parents treated us to an epic Korean barbecue. The beef was of highest quality and the mushrooms were super meaty as well. For dessert, we ate strawberries and oranges. The strawberries that are grown in Korea are the best in the world. They are really huge and taste incredibly sweet. After dinner, I browsed some family photos and observed some cute baby pictures of my girlfriend. The next day, we went to the local medical clinic to get a comprehensive health checkup. The entire process took 4 hours. They performed an MRI, a CAT scan, blood test, everything you could think of. Aside from high body fat, my health results were very favorable. I am completely healthy. Oh, wow. How's <laughs> you Wow. Amazing. After that entire ordeal, we went to the local Paris Baguette to pick up more snacks. Very different from the boulangeries in Paris, but it has its own charm. I enjoyed a nice scone and an egg sandwich during the car ride. A new day for more exploration. We visited the local farm village to pay our respect to my girlfriend's grandmother who passed away from old age during the pandemic. Many generations of her family was buried here. May their spirits bring us good luck. The countryside was quiet, sunny, and the air was fresh. The pace of life is slower here, a sharp contrast to the lifestyle in Seoul. I was excited to explore my girlfriend's grandmother's house that was now abandoned. We step onto the property and observe the numerous and varied plant life that surrounds the farm. The entire property and home was built by hand by my girlfriend's grandparents. They even built their own well to procure water. My girlfriend's father likes to harvest fresh mushrooms that he grows on the farm, which we ended up eating for dinner. We also harvested some fresh green leaves from the farm for dinner as well. Next, we decided to explore the inside of the house. Oh, there's no light in here, huh? This is your grandma's. Oh, oh there's still a TV here and everything. Oh, that's your dad? Uh huh. My grandma. Your grandma. My grandpa. Uh. So someone could still technically live here if they wanted to. Just a little basic storage room. Hey, we in the countryside. It's so relaxing here. Uh, quite the contrast to the big, big busy city. We met up with some local villager friends of my girlfriend's dad and shared a nice conversation while observing the view. For dinner, we enjoyed some delicious sashimi. In the morning, we watched the new Avatar movie and decided to hike the local mountains with my girlfriend's dad. Yeah, this mountain huge. The day was perfect for hiking. It was warm, bright, and sunny. I enjoyed every breath of the fresh mountain oh, air. The entire trail was well constructed and very safe to hike. 
there was various landmarks and buildings all around. Hiking this mountain was a workout. My leg muscles were burning but I knew I had to keep going. My girlfriend's dad hikes this mountain almost every day so he was so used to it. Oh. Hi. We reached near the top of the mountain where there was a nice area for a picnic and a beautiful view. We were tired but we were getting closer to the top. We just knew we had to keep going. We were almost there. At the top of the mountain, there was a nice shrine for us to rest and get some shade. We were rewarded with an excellent view of the entire city. We made our way back to the base of the mountain and got some juicy cheeseburgers nearby. The rest of the days in Hampyeong were pretty quiet. We visited a TV station, ate more food, and saw more sights. My girlfriend was so happy to be able to see her parents after four long years. It was finally time to leave Hampyeong and head back to Seoul. After a long train ride, we decided to get some Korean fried chicken. We made our way to the Hongdae district and booked a hotel. We checked in at the front desk area and entered our room. There was a nice king size bed for my girlfriend and I to share. After getting some rest, we decided to go outside and explore the Hongdae nightlife. Hongdae was definitely our favorite area in Korea. There was so much to do, so much to see, and so much to eat. Lots of bars, lights, and people just hanging out on a Friday night. If you're looking to get some shopping done, this is also a good area to start. The next day, we ate at the hotel's breakfast buffet. It was honestly quite underwhelming. We had a much nicer breakfast buffet in Norway, which was much more luxurious, and it was free. All the staple breakfast foods was present, however, so I didn't leave with an empty stomach. We made our way to the Seoul Harbor area to meet up with my girlfriend's former roommate that used to live with her in France. We ate at a nice Italian restaurant right next to the river. We enjoyed a nice view of the Han River as we ate our lunch. The seafood pasta here was phenomenal. It was nice to get a picture of old friends that finally met again after many years. We decided to check out the mall nearby and encounter this really cool robot. <laughs> it's like get away from me. <laughs> oh no wait, you have to talk to him, okay. Oh, it's like a helper robot. That's so cool. Hey! Can you uh, massage my stomach? We decided to check out the food court and there were so many options. Beautifully crafted cakes. Delicious breads and pastries. Premium green tea ice cream. There was even a place that was entirely dedicated to a numerous variety of scones. Today was our last full day in South Korea. 
We decided to treat ourselves to some massage therapy and it's very affordable in South Korea. We're definitely gonna come back and treat ourselves again. Get a nice little massage together. Tonight was our last night in South Korea, so we made a double date with Kyungi and I, her brother, and his girlfriend. We ate at an amazing sushi restaurant, which you can watch in my other video. And of course, we had to celebrate the end of the night with some incredible desserts. What is that? The rice, uh, sweet rice water? Okay. Overall, South Korea was a wonderful time and we definitely plan to come back. Everything was just high quality, an exceptionally clean city. People were super nice and it was just an amazing place to be. Hot cup ramen on a long airplane flight. Ugh, the simple pleasures of life. The plane ride back was super chill. They gave us these really cool slippers. Everyone's just like relaxing, enjoying a lot of food, watching movies. It was a good time. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna try to make more vlog videos. Thank you.